Hello everyone, Novabug here. Do you like the jumper? The most awesome kick-ass Christmas jumper ever. <clears throat> Dave Lawnboy's post is going ah at the moment if he's watching this. I hope you are, Dave. Anyway, uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in to me, Novabug, again. It's been a while for a waffle. Um, I've been setting up the um, new waffle area now. This is, I'm in I'm in my loft, so this is going to be the new studio filming area, as it were. It's a bit chilly in here, and this is going to be my new waffle wall. Uh, as you can see, Richard Turner's absolutely beautiful, beautiful painting that he did for me, Pride of Place. Like I promised you, Rich, Pride of Place, because my friend, it is fucking awesome. So there it is. You've got the. Um, Oliver Twins uh, signed poster there uh, for the story of uh, Dizzy, which uh, Chris Wilkins very kindly sent me. Cyber Chicken poster back, pride of place. Big picture of Starbug, as we know, and at the top there, you probably can't see it, is uh, the Loftus Road sign, which you've seen previously. And of course, Chinny Vision's calendar for 2017. Oh, yes. Um, so this is my waffle pre Christmas 2016. Um, and it's a the most epic pickup video so i hope you go uh, sit down for 20 minutes i do hope you bear with me for 20 minutes i really really do hope you do <laughs> stay with me for, for 20 minutes oh i said that very posh didn't i uh basically this is almost everything i've picked up in the last year um because i haven't been doing i haven't done any pickup videos in a year or over a year at least um mainly because i was i was <laughs> transition a lot of stuff going on in real life move Moving house, moving family, moving area, moving jobs, lots of stuff going on. Not going to dwell on it, but um, because of financial constraints, didn't buy a lot. Didn't buy a lot at all. And most of these gifts, actually. Um, but we're going to go through them. Sorry, I'm stuck. I'm going to go through them and uh, see what you think. Hmm. Um, bits and pieces, really. A random splattering. So we'll start off with uh, well we'll start with the Wii U games actually. Uh so these these are the Wii U games I picked up over the year. Now I wanted to pick up more but didn't um I think I basically think this is everything I picked up in a year. So I might have missed a few things. But for I, I for a couple of purchases from the Wii U group in Facebook I managed to pick up Tank 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 Wii U. I love I you know what I really like this game. Box complete, absolutely perfect. Got this for eight pounds, I believe, from one of the dealers on uh, the Wii U group. So that was fantastic for from you. And I also picked up from the same guy, Star Fox Guard. I didn't buy the um, Star Fox Zero set. I, I picked up Star Fox Zero as well, but I just didn't bother bringing that up from the collection because I'm just lazy. Um, I didn't. I didn't buy it with the Star Fox card included, so I got Star Fox card separately from the same dealer that sold me Tank Tank Tank. So it was great to uh, get Star Fox card as well. Again, absolutely perfect. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't expensive. I think I paid about I think twelve pound for the two, including postage. Um, my birthday recently went past as well, so we we'll go through the quick birthday gifts. That was on the back in back in Halloween. Uh, so my parents got me Minecraft Wii U edition. Still sealed, still sealed. Probably be, it'll probably stay sealed for quite a while, so I'm not going to open it right now. Probably stay sealed for. And uh, my brother also got me still sealed Mario Smash Tennis as well. So more, more Wii U goodness. So actually, I, I want to play that very soon. Uh, I'll cover that in the next summer's, I think, um, tennis fiasco. <laughs> um, now, what else would I get for my birthday? Oh, right, yes. I also got um, a lot of uh, from my brother-in-law. He got me a a, small, a random selection of things. And we're going to go through the highlights in this great Marvel gift bag. Yes, um, and this, this the random stuff in here. Um, there's something else down there which is extremely random as well. But let's go through these now. First of all, the highlight of this was that. Doom on the PlayStation. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. And I was, I, I, was, I said to him, I said to him, if you literally just got me that, uh, the Doom set on the PlayStation would have been fantastic. And it also came, came with another game as well, which is just randomly in there. VR Sports Powerboat Racing for the PlayStation as well. 
So I might, um, I might, I might cover that on an on an NRG. I'm not sure. I've never played that. So again, these discs are in great condition. Really good condition. Oh, excuse me. Just drop the bag. Right. This other lot of stuff we got here. So you can only see the top of my head here, my balding pate. Um, <laughs> it's a random stuff. I mean, as you, if you know me, you know I'm not massive into PC gaming, but you got me. I mean, some retro fans might be ecstatic over this. Flight Simulator for Windows 95. Hmm. So there's the there's the guidebook and everything else. I mean, he literally got the whole Flight Simulator 95 package for me. So there's the guidebook. So we got the guidebook and uh, not that. Where is it? All right. There's the disc. There we go. Uh, it won't, in a, whoops. It won't run on uh, my. I mean, that's in fantastic condition. It really is. It it won't run on my um, by my Windows 7 PC, Windows Windows 10 PC now. What am I talking about? Uh, probably without me messing around with something. And then there's also expansion pack as well. So you got the disc, expansion pack, the guidebook. You know, you know, if you like flying planes, it's great because he also got me that. Now I know. Oh, nearly killed it. Now I know some people. Uh, like Giles and a few others love these kind of thing a flight stick uh, it's great to f I mean honestly it's really cool to feel in your hand so this is um this is a Microsoft Sidewinder Precision 2 yes it is yes just checking that and it's in really really good condition I mean I mean it's in pretty good condition It'll stick on the top there and the buttons and everything I don't know what that does I have no idea about flight simulator games not a clue not a clue so, this is the entire original flight simulator package, if you will. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. I mean, I, I, I thanked my brother-in-law uh, for it. Um, I'm not sure what to do with it, though, because um, it's great, but I don't know what to do with it. But, and then it got even more random. If you couldn't get any more random, um, I've got the, uh, the 3DO guide to Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Just the guide for the 3DO. Odd. I do have the game though, so that's good. Um, here we go. And then a, a selection of PC games. A selection of PC games with a 5 inch disc. Uh, yeah. So we've got um, the Sentinel from Firebird. The Sentinel. <laughs> Old school floppy disk or oh, a few a few retro fans really hate me for doing that i know that and a few other absolutely i mean this one's a cracker i mean how about how about, how about double dragon 2 how about double dragon 2 on 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 the five on the five and a quarter floppy is the five and a quarter floppy i, don't know. I mean that is just I haven't seen these discs in years and years and years, and these are these are the IBM versions, so the PC versions. So, fuck knows what operating system they would run on Windows 3.11, maybe. I would I would guess so. Uh, totally random. Uh, made me smile. It really did make me smile. And the fact that it all came in a marble bag. Well, there you go. So we're going to put it back in the marble bag. The uh, PlayStation games are going to go in my collection, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the flight simulator stuff. Honestly, I don't. Oh, and the last thing you got me randomly is oh, you can put this in your game room. Oh, hang on, I dropped it. No, I haven't. you can put this. You can put this in your game room. I said, what? Really? Hmm. Maybe I could be pretend to be that guy from the Mojo video. Yeah, be you know a mirrorable head. Yeah. Um. Who knows? Uh, the mirror ball. Yeah. Don't know what I'm going to do with that either. You know, it's, uh, unless I'm opening some sort of 70s disco. Um, right, let's move on to more different stuff. Uh, CEX. Let's go to CEX. Now, I, was, I, was, I found a, a branch of CEX in Truro, uh, which is close to me now. Uh, and uh, there's the, there's, in fact, there's a lot of game shops in Truro. There's quite a few. There's um, 
there's a there's a record shop which sells cons retro consoles and retro games there's a game st st store there independent one cx and there's lots of good stuff around. locally around um in the towns around here Cor uh, cornwall in camborne redruth and true there's loads of independent game stores it's really really good to have a look and check them check them out and i'm going to go through a few of them now um there's a um well i've got the one well the, let's go to cx first let's find them that one and that one right so i've got um tom clancy's splinter cell blacklist on the wii u it's another one for the wii u collection eight pounds from cex and it is in absolutely spiffing condition and so excellent there and um oh i'm gonna go to that in a minute that, 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 that's the best find ever uh, for cex 50p for golden age racing on the PlayStation 2, so you, you know, I think this must be my 200th or 250 PlayStation 2 game. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Again, um, absolutely marvelous condition. Uh, I, I generally only pick up games that are in excellent condition. Purple disc and not a mark on it. I don't think it's ever been played. A bit like that ping pong ping pong game I got before. I don't think it's ever been played. It's absolutely perfect condition. And the best find I had at CEX, uh, I think this was a couple of months ago now was Kingdom Hearts, uh, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2, for £8, I think that's a great price for this game, um, con considering the uh, condition it's in, I have seen copies of Kingdom Hearts 2 in shit condition, torn covers, broken boxes, whatever, and they're going for like £12, £15, with even a scratch disc, and this disc is absolutely minty, 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 eight pounds and even even the guy that was selling it to me said oh, i think that's a good price well he would say that wouldn't he but i i think it was a great price so there we go um anything else? no nothing else from cx no nothing else from cx uh moving on to a shop i found in redruth in the market in the redruth market uh this is called avalon games and i discovered he's he, he sells spectrum games and playstation and oh mate thrilled um I only bought two while I was there because I wanted to do a bit of research before I started buying more. So the first one was Pro Pimble the Web on the PlayStation. Now, um, uh, my editor at the Pixel Empire has reviewed this on the Pixel Empire. Check out the link in the description box. Quick plug for the Pixel Empire there for this pinball game on the PlayStation. Um, oh, sugar. I thought I opened, I did open that, yeah. So yeah, it's complete box of instructions. It's got a little bit of water damage, which is a little bit of water damage there. A bit like my bloody board at the back there. But this is, is absolutely um, polo. Yeah, so I'll give that a whirl for 50p. Why don't you, sir? And the other one I got, and this is more expensive, an Amstrad game. He sells Amstrad games. I was like, ah! And that changed my underwear. Um, Xevious on the Amstrad CPC, £1.50. He was also selling Renegade as well. I still have to test this, but it looks in good condition. There we go. Americana Amstrad Xevious. It looks in good condition. The, the cassette box is not damaged at all, and the inlay is in excellent condition as well. So, first Amstrad game I've picked up in the wild for like donkey's years. Um, now, there is a shop in... Um, Redruth, uh, that is an, basically an exchange shop, uh, like a like a cash converters kind of shop. So a pawn shop sells lots of different things, and it has lots of different games in there, and it has a big, great big bin full of PlayStation 2 and Xbox, original Xbox games. So I had a delve in there, and I took out things like this. Extreme G Racing, XG3 on the PS2. A little bit of a, a flip, a bit of a tear there on the box. I mean, it was dumped in a in a bin, but inside it's actually very very good condition. And this, I think, I, I think they were selling these for a quid ago. So, another one to give a try out. I, I love picking up games, these rare budget games. That I not rare, random, should I say? Budget games I've never played. The sort of things I really enjoy to uh, discover. Uh, but I know this isn't one. Uh, you know, to get Dynasty Warriors Four for ninety nine p. Read that. 99p the dynasty slash dynasty warriors 4 again box instructions i don't take compromises 
if it's just a disc I'm not going to be happy and a few just a few um, you know dirty finger marks on there but you know nothing that can't be cleaned off no deep scratches and it does play great all we had a, a quick whirl of that next one is uh, going back to the sort of 90s DJs I think Groove Rider <laughs> Groove 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 Rider Ow! Fuck, I forgot how to cut my finger Slot Car Racing so this is a Sky Electrics video game how awesome is that? <laughs> I didn't even know this existed and I thought I've got to have that seriously a, a Sky Electrics video game man 50p 50p and it's in great condition as well. There's a little bit of fraying on the top of the artwork there. But it's in great condition. Another purple disc. But uh, excellent. Bloody excellent. And for 50p, you can't sniff at that, can you? And finally, one for the Xbox. And like I said before, I only the games I get for the Xbox are generally, rule of thumb, 90% of the games I'll have for the Xbox are the ones that were only released on the Xbox. It's of original Xbox exclusives. So this is Brute Force. Dangerous alone, deadly together. Well, that's what it says in the box. I have no idea what this is about. Looks like a third person kind of uh, game, I think. I have no idea. No clue about this at all. It's got box instructions as always. But what fucking great big warranty book in there? Excuse me. Oh, a little, uh, that's a little advertising booklet for the Xbox. But again, everything's present and correct. Uh, there's a, there's a, I mean, there's a bit of a dinky scratch there. It should play fine once I've dug the Xbox out of its uh, storage. But yeah, it, what's Brute Force like? I have no idea about this game at all. Not a clue. I mean, everything here I've got, apart from that last one, Groove Rider. No idea. No idea what this is like. It might be a hunk of shit. Who knows? But uh, that's the fun of finding out. Again, only 50p. And the final game I got uh, from the same place, and the final game for this video as well, so thank you for bearing with me, is just a little bit of uh, brain brain exercise for the DS. Like a bit of Sudoku. Just to know, you know, nice little quiet, lovely little game of Sudoku on the DS. Uh, I like Sudoku, it's relaxing, I like to do it sometimes and to have a, you know, one for the DS is great because you can just have a quick play now and then you know, relax the brain muscles into a little bit of analytical thinking and that's it really, that's what I've got, that is basically every I'm out of shot again aren't I? basically every single pickup um, that I've done for this year which I can probably hold in one hand without dropping them this is going to be amusing isn't it? If I can hold them all up at the same time without dropping the damn fucking things. Better shut that. Didn't work, did it? <laughs> now, shall I cut that out? No, I won't cut that out. No, I'll keep it in. Well, no, none of them are damaged, so that's good. Oh, well. What are you going to do, eh? You come here for the laughs, you get them. There's some. There's more. <laughs> I'm going to the Xevious out and try and do this. Oh, I don't even know why I'm trying to do this. This is fucking ridiculous. There's too many in all different shapes. Oh, go on. And there you go. That. <laughs> it's, not, it's not working either. It's not having it. Not having it. Oh, it's balanced it on the top. Is it going to work? Yay! <laughs> there we go. Every pickup from this year. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Oh dear, what a fucking terrible end to a video that was. I'm dropping them all over and finding games around the place and stuff. Oh dear. So, I probably won't see you until Christmas. I'll do a Christmas. I think the I think I'll do a Christmas waffle. I probably will. Uh, so I'll see you at Christmas 2016. Cheers. No bug. Out.